Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So here we have a 2019 Peugeot Partner electric van. It's 100% electric. It's got the 22 kilowatt hour battery pack and that battery is owned. So there's no lease payments like there is with a Renault. And being a newer model, this one has got an eight year warranty on the battery pack, but I'll go into more about that later. So this one, is effectively a brand new vehicle still um, it has only done 500 miles and it's in this metallic silver i think peugeot actually call it aluminium but it's metallic silver which is a bit unusual because most of these are flat white so it looks really nice so the purpose of these videos primarily is to describe the condition uh, and I'm very detailed when I do these videos. If you've seen them before, you'll know I point out every little stone chip, scratch mark, and that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle without coming to view it first, and then I deliver the vehicle to them. But there's nothing much to show you on this one. It's still light new, and there genuinely isn't even the tiniest little mark on it. It's like it has just come out the showroom. So we'll do a walk around anyway, so you can see, but all that front bumper is absolutely mark free there's not a stone chip or scratch on the paintwork it's in this really nice sparkly metallic it's a very sunny day today so it really is sparkling tires you know they've only done 500 miles so they're all still new there's no scratches on the mirrors there's no stone chips it's still a new vehicle so there genuinely isn't a mark on it there's nothing to point out there's not even any scratching on the wheels yet or on the back bumper um, there's no dent you often get a dent here where the wrong door slammed first but there's not a mark on it and then looking on the inside it's ply lined it's got the open uh, bulkhead with the frame behind the driver and those that uh, passenger seat then folds flat which i'll show you in a minute but yeah as you can see it's uh, nothing's been put in the back here um actually there's a few marks there on the tires because i chucked my electric scooter in the back here the other day actually so the only marks in it is where i've quickly used it and the charge cable there hasn't even been opened so uh, never been used um what do I need to show you about these? Uh, you've got a 12 volt socket in the back there. The doors can open 90 degrees with that yellow tab there, which allows you to load with a forklift. And then you get a sliding door on the near side. And the nice thud on these doors as well. They're really nicely built vans. And then uh, going around this side, nothing to show you again. It's all immaculate. Oh, I would just add, I have waxed this, including the roof. Um, which uh, often vans don't even have the roof washed but I've done all of it so it's all nicely waxed as well and so uh, let's just show you the inside so yeah just like the outside all immaculate so these have three seats they're the only electric van with three seats uh, so they're a lot more practical and these have um, DC rapid charging as well which I'll go into the charging in a minute and you also get air conditioning on these so one spec they're all the same uh, the only differences between the the vans is really whether you have a cage bulkhead or the open bulkhead and uh, then it's just a stereo really you can have an upgraded radio um, that's about the only difference uh, looking on these as well you also get overhead storage up there and uh, you get some storage under the seats there so that middle seat's very useful it's great for kids it's a bit smaller but you can fit three adults in here had a bit of a squeeze uh, but it's great if you want to uh, drop your kids off at school or things like that and you can obviously carry two passengers which you can't with any other van so let's just show you the seats in the partner so firstly the passenger seat can fold down flat like that and then looking from the back it's completely flush here with the floor so you can put long items through particularly handy if you're a a plumber or an electrician you want to carry three meter pipe or conduit rather than sticking it on the roof um, which makes a lot of noise um, and reduces your um, drag um, increases your drag a little bit should I say not reduce but increase um, but in here you can tuck it up under the dash and you can just about get three meter um, lengths in there and then this seat can also lift up using that tag there 
and then lock up there so you've got a bit more storage space on the floor here if you want to carry anything in the front and then the middle seat folds down like that so you've got a writing table or eating your lunch it's a bit difficult to do this one-handed and then underneath here you've got storage compartment in there as well so yeah hugely practical um, the only thing that isn't very good on the partner vans is the cup holders they're here in the doors uh, you can stand normal size coffee cups in there but you can't put large um, McDonald's cups or shakes that sort of thing um, and they're not particularly well positioned that's the only thing that they haven't quite got right but apart from that they're great vans these and as I said they've all got air conditioning as well which you often don't get in electric vans so next let's talk about the charging so on this side you have an AC charge port it's a tight one and this is a 16 amp 3.6 kilowatt charging port so typically this is overnight charging this is what you would use at home or your workplace when you're not using the van you put it on charge on AC and you've got that charge cable in the back which connects to that so type 1 on the van type 2 on the other end of the charge cables because all chargers are type 2 AC sockets and then on this side of the van you have got DC rapid charging so this is a 50 kilowatt CHAdeMO port and this is what you would typically use on the um, roadside so motorway network also a lot of filling stations are now having rapid chargers installed so using the DC power you can go from 0 to 80 percent in 30 minutes on one of these so that allows you to do the long distance driving and uh, of course most of the time you're not at naught either um, but yeah th that's what people want DC rapid charging and then it doesn't give you the limitations that uh, other vans do that can't charge on a rapid charger so in reality what that means is if you're going to do a long distance trip you would typically do 60 to 70 mile hops between charges so here is your charge cable this is an ac charge cable type 1 to type 2 as you can see uh, it's all sealed up it's a genuine Peugeot one never been opened so this is what you would use on that charge port on the front wing so uh, charging at home or at your workplace or on, a, on a, a public charging post that's an AC charging so that's typically seven kilowatt charging posts that you get in supermarkets and car parks and that sort of thing um, so I can also provide a portable charging cable often called a granny cable so that's a cable with a three pin plug on the end so that means you can charge the van on a normal main socket it does take longer because those only draw 10 amp versus um, 16 amp when you're using a normal wall charger uh, but it means that uh, you can charge anywhere and the vehicle will always be charged overnight and be ready for the morning so those portable chargers um, I do supply those with the vans you have to buy them uh, but I do a free loan so you buy it up front and I supply it with the vehicle you can use them for up to a month and then when you've got your um, proper charger installed if you no longer want that granny cable you can send it back to me and I'll give you a full refund hence why I say it's a free loan but most people end up keeping them because they're very handy to have it means you can charge your van anywhere where there's a socket i.e. that's absolutely everywhere and uh, very handy if you're on site during the day because you can just plug in and get a top up um, while you're not using the van so those wall chargers um, you get a government grant of 500 pounds towards the cost of that and after that grant they end up costing from about 300 pounds I can arrange the insulation for that and typically they take uh, about two to three weeks to get installed but as I said in the meantime you can charge on a normal um, main socket with that portable charger so inside the van here we can see the mileage here is 536 miles so hardly been used uh, we'll just add those LED lights uh, in the dash not LED but the warning lights there in the dash aren't flashing like they are on the camera it's just the way the camera picks it up it always seems to make them flash um, but yeah very simple vans to understand this is your power meter so a bit like a rev count a rev meter in a, a petrol or diesel so as you stick your foot down the needle moves around and you want to drive um, with the needle in the lower section here in the green section if you stick your foot down it goes all the way around to here and then when you lift off the accelerator 
that's when the motor effectively turns into a dynamo and starts charging the battery and that's what you use to slow the van down rather than using the brakes and when you're charging the battery the needle drops down into the blue section here in the charge section the regen braking on these is set quite strong so what you find is you can genuinely stop without touching the brakes you read the road a bit better and when you come into a traffic lights or roundabouts you lift off the accelerator coast up to the junction and all that time you're charging the battery pack and that extends your range as soon as you hit the brakes you're transferring that energy into friction and heat on the brake pads which you want to harness it and put it back in the battery so these work really well genuinely one pedal driving and uh, that will obviously extend your range and your brake pads will last almost forever on one of these if you drive them properly uh, here we've got your heating system and air conditioning this is the only other thing that uses power from the 400 volt battery underneath everything else your dash lights wipers stereo ecus all of that uses a 12 volt battery up front these have a normal lead acid 12 volt batteries like all other vans um, so the only thing that uses the 400 volt battery is your electric motor driving the front wheels and your heating system so this has got air conditioning and heating so if i put it round to cold the air conditioning has now come on and we have a little needle here which shows us how much energy the heating and air conditioning system is using so it's still on quite low because i've got it quite low and then up here on the screen it will tell us how many miles there we go two miles of range that's using to use the air conditioning like that and then we can apply heat if i just apply maximum heat we'll see here the needle is rising as the energy is being used um, so yeah very good little system it will always tell you how many miles that uh, you will lose if you maintain the heating at that level um, which is quite handy these don't have um, preconditioning though like the kangoos or the nissan e and v200s um, that's the only thing they're missing really apart from that they've got everything else air conditioning dc rapid charging radio um, and obviously these are the only vans with three seats uh, so we've got uh, electric windows electric mirrors we've got your central locking for your um, front and back doors we've also got cruise control we've got some um, stereo controls down there electric mirrors traction control headlights adjustment we've also got a storage compartment here in front of the dash glove box here the glove box is a bit small because the fuse box is in there there's a shelf there though which is quite useful but like all right hand drive cars we often end up with the fuse box in the glove box um, i would just add this has got two remote keys uh, the other keys in the ignition there but there's the spare key and then up here we've got the paperwork so we've got all the original books as you would expect because this is still a new van and uh, i don't need to show you them all but we've got the pdi documents as well there um, and then here's the logbook no previous keepers so it's had one keeper and the registration date is the 31st of the 1st 2019 um, so the warranty on these is uh, because this is the newer model it's got eight year warranty on the battery pack five year warranty on the electric drivetrain so that's everything under the bonnet the electric motor the inverter the charger all that sort of stuff and then a three year warranty on the van um, and i don't think i need to oh one other quick thing i will just say this doesn't have bluetooth very few of these have bluetooth it's an extra and they're never specced with it but um, it's very easy to install Bluetooth with a Parrot kit or um, just having a, a sun visor Bluetooth unit. So range, um, normally I do a range test in these vans, but this one, hey, it's brand new. I don't need to do it. I don't need to prove the battery um, condition or anything like that because it's still a new van. So typically um, these do sort of low 90 miles. Uh, depends, very much depends how you drive. Um, so with these i typically can get about 93 94 miles out of them in the summer without the air conditioning on um, but if you're driving in a city and it's lots of stop start driving and your uh, normal road speed is then much lower in a city your typical average road speed is more like 20 miles an hour on average um, you can actually improve it even more 
Uh, it's just like a petrol or diesel vehicle, depends how heavy you are with the right foot. So if you drive these gently, um, you can certainly get into the 90s. Let me just, actually I can see there, the range is dropping because we're not moving. Um, the range at the moment is showing 65, well it was 66 miles, 65 miles. It's only about 75% charged. I try not to um, keep these stored fully charged because that's not very good for the battery. So um, I haven't, uh, I'm not driving this, so I haven't uh, fully charged the battery. Um, because as I said, when you're storing these for a long time, it's best not to store them at 100%. Um, so yes, uh, range is showing only 65 miles. If we look up here on the screen, we can see it's driven at three miles per kilowatt hour, which is bad driving. So the range is assuming you're gonna drive like that. Um, you can get these to, um, in the summer, without air conditioning, you should be at least getting 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, you can get these up nearer five if you drive them very gently. Um, and obviously the range meter will then adjust and show you the real range. The trouble is with range meters, people put too much um, faith into them. You've got to take them with a big pinch of salt because uh, it's based on, it based the range on how it was driven. So if you do a blast down a dual carriageway and you bomb along at 70, it's going to think, hang on, we're going to drive like that and adjust the range accordingly. Um, and in a van like this, it's still new. It's only done 500 miles. It's never been driven properly yet. So as we can see up here on the screen, it was showing three miles per kilowatt hour. You know, in the summer, I can drive these on average at about 4.5, 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour, doing normal road speeds, rural roads around here and A roads. Um, in a city, you would get a bit more. And then the range meter will increase uh, and compensate for that. Um, so yeah, typically you're going to be, um, you know, drive this gently, you're going to be uh, 93, 94 mile range, um, drive it a bit worse, you're going to be in the 80s. Um, so like always, like all petrol and diesel cars, the range of the vehicle is very much based on driving style and how heavy you are with the right foot. So all the details on the range, the charging, and the warranty and all that information is all on the website, including the photo gallery where there's detailed pictures that you can zoom in and have a good look at the condition of the vehicle. And uh, this vehicle is now ready and available to go. So if you're interested, then give me a call or email. Also let me know your postcode and I'll work out a delivery cost and I can deliver this anywhere in the country. And it will come to you on a flatbed and it will be fully charged and ready to use.